the last day of the year 2022 gone so I thought I'd do some uh, My wife, she uh, she mows always back and forward and left and right and straight lines. I'm starting in a circle around one of the bushes. Drives her totally nuts. Grass is not that high. It's more picking up these leaves and barks. Looks nice. December 31st is always a bit of a day for reflection of the past year the achievements, the efforts. But um, this year it is also a Saturday, so that means uh, it's a garden day. There, yeah, there. Yeah. Saturday, 31st of December. It is Saturday. I would have usually walked around on the other side of the pool to get these leaves there, but um, I thought with a long pole it looks better on the camera, right? It is looking good. It's a bit of a horse allergy. Repaired this bird feeder here. I installed two new platforms. Looking good. Look at all this unused roof space here. Uh, just wait until next year. Next year. Looking good. Really good. <laughs> Cleaning gutters. Definitely one of my least favorite works in 2022. But when it's done, it's looking good. Ah, looking not so good. And usually on a Saturday afternoon, I would be here in my garage 
hammering and drilling and filing. Maybe even do some battery testing or connecting some solar panels. But not, not today. And, and because it is the last day of the year, we usually look back and see what we have achieved in the last year, 365 days. And by doing so, we usually put this last year in one of the two categories. It was either a good year or a shit year. Totally depending on what we have experienced. So, uh, no hammering, drilling and filing today. I mean, super crazy to even think about it. One year ago, we still had the naked battery shelf sitting here in the middle of the garage. It was stripped down all around and we were hammering and drilling and filing to, to build this battery. And I mean, look what we have achieved. It is incredible. But the, um, the last day of the year is also a day where we look ahead of what is coming. And some of us may already have pinned their goals into this next year 365 day roadmap. Including me. I've got my goals set. But I'm not a big fan of, of resolutions for a new year. I mean, I never was. It is mainly the change from a Saturday to a Sunday this year. At the end, it's all up to us to, to do better, to make this world a better place. And I know this, this sounds cheesy now, and, and the, these are big words, you know, but, and especially considering this uncertain future we are living in at the moment. And we've got this ecological crisis catastrophe happening. This um, social media harassment and political instability and even, it is even sad to, to talk and think about it. We have these military conflicts out there where one country attacks another one just for the sake of, of gaining area, land area, resources or political power. How fucked up is this already? You're, you're being shot by missiles and tanks in, in our time? Honestly, look into the news. 95% of the news is about negative things out here in the world. There, there's not much positive stuff they are talking about in news or newspapers. The, the more negative it is, the more likely it is people reading it, they are listening to it, they are spreading the word. And isn't that exactly the same what we experience here on social media as well? If I post a video about Victron solar charge controller, which is not working correctly, this video gets more views, more comments, more negative comments, than making a video plugging all my components into a Zerbo GX and it just works. Which is a far more positive story. But this is not how our social system works. How we have been trained by the media. In what fucked up system, I mean, totally fucked up system are we actually living that watching a video where someone has a car crash gets a hundred times more views than a giraffe giving birth to a little baby it is the negativity which gains clicks views and comments and and i'm really trying my best here that all these videos having a positive impact on on all of us on on you and on me because i love doing it so i guess i'll just keep doing it in 2023 and beyond and i am very positive that we as individuals can become better better in Many things, I mean, not only in technology and, and how batteries and solar panels work, but in, in general, socially, mainly, mainly socially. And because then, and only then, all our future...